Now, Chinese leader Xi Jinping is widely regarded today as the country's most powerful leader since Mao Zedong. But one China watcher predicts that he will soon be removed from office. We'll talk more about that in a moment. But first, a quick overview of the power Xi has amassed. In November 2012, he was elected Communist Party General Secretary and Chairman of the party's Central Military Commission, making him China's paramount leader. A few months later, he launched a national anti-corruption drive, which many see as having been conducted outside the framework of due process. Now, it's seen the downfall of hundreds of thousands of officials and functionaries. In 2018, the National People's Congress abolished term limits for the president and vice president, making Xi a potentially lifelong leader. And in 2020, Xi called anti-monopoly efforts against online firms one of the country's chief goals. A speech by Alibaba founder Jack Ma criticizing the party is said to have infuriated Xi. And joining me now in studio is Roger Garside, a former British diplomat and longtime China watcher. He's also the author of the book China Coup, The Great Leap to Freedom. In it, Mr. Garside claims China is set to transition to democracy after a successful coup against President Xi Jinping. Welcome to Berlin and to DW News Asia, Roger Garside. Thank you, Biraj. It's, it's so great to be here. It's, it's quite a, a prediction to make, uh, a transition to democracy, but before that, a coup that ousts President Xi Jinping. Yes. Why do you say that on the basis of what? Well, three quarters of the book is factual, one quarter is semi-fictional. And the three quarters um, says why. Um, this dictatorship, which is a totalitarian dictatorship, not an authoritarian regime. This di totalitarian dictatorship is outwardly strong, but inwardly weak. And I could run through some of the weaknesses, if you like. But then, when you say it's weak, you're saying that that is what is going to lead to a coup? So it's going to be something that will happen from within the ranks of the Communist Party? Is that what you're saying? Within the top ranks of the Communist Party. Um, but with an external force acting as well. Um, the US and its allies have got to adopt a more aggressive strategy towards China. We can't dictate what, how China is governed, but we can and must engineer events so that we help those who want to free China to do so. so. So let me understand this. Until the time there is this external stimulus from yep. uh, the US and allies and the liberal West is what you're referring yes. to, there is no coup in China. Is that what you're saying? I and don't... you almost seem to sound that you're laying out a prescription of how to bring about regime change in China. Yes, but it's not a question, as I say, of dictating or imposing a change on China, but with wor working within the forces, with the forces which are within to achieve a free China. Um, very recently, um, the highest level defector from China to the US since 1949 came out and said just what I said, that uh, just what I say in the book, which was written before she ever spoke in public. She is saying that based on 15 years teaching ideology to the senior party cadres at the National Central Party School, she believes that 60 to 70 percent of senior officials of the party regard constitutional government and democratic government as the best recipe for stability and human rights defense in China. Right, but I wonder if they will act. And the reason I ask this is because they're, they're against a man, President Xi Jinping, yep. who has declared himself effectively president for life. Yep. And uh, he is, I think, the only leader after Mao Zedong to have this much amount of power in China. Mm -hmm. Since 2013, when he took over, he began a very popular anti-corruption campaign which effectively got rid of rivals. Yes. Therefore, I ask you, are these rivals there and are they going to be able to act? Their rivals are there and they can be enabled and helped to act if we, the liberal democracies, adopt the right strategy and tactics. And let me illustrate, I illustrate this in the book, um, but events have been moving 
very much in line with my prediction since I stopped writing in 2019. US Congress has adopted measures which will lead to a confrontation between financial markets, between financial regulators, um, th between the US and China. Uh, the US is insisting that Chinese companies listed, traded in the US, 248 of them, reveal, right. um, share, audit information which the Chinese government has always prohibited them, them from sharing. And when that law uh, bites in the US, there will be a confrontation um, of uh, beginning in the financial field, but will rapidly become political. Right. Quick last question. Um, when do you see this coup happening? Well, it could happen before November 22. Why? Because that is the date by which we expect the next National Party Congress right. of the Communist Party of China to take place and to anoint Xi Jinping for a further five years. Right. So if these people are to act, then that is an important deadline. And we leave it there for the time being. Thank you so much for joining us here today. Roger Garside, author of China Coup, The Great Leap to Freedom. Thank you so much for coming in. Thank you, Biresh.